Hey guys, sorry this is not on Wednesday. It's a Wednesday tutorial on Fridays when you're, you'll be seeing it. Um, sorry I couldn't get it out on Wednesday. I've been really busy in the past weeks, couple weeks, and next couple weeks, so I'm going to try to get as many videos as I can, can out as possible, but I'm like in two different things that I have to go to practice for, for the school talent show, and school in general that I have been having a lot of homework lately and I just haven't been around to do this stuff. Haven't even been able to scooter that much lately. So um, this is the Wednesday tutorial, not on Wednesday. Okay, I got a um, request for double whips. Oh, and don't worry, um, I will do whip rewinds next video if I get when I, because I have to do, I would do that now, but I have to be outside for that, and it's dark out now, and I can't do that. So, I'll have it out, like, either next Wednesday or sometime in between now and Wednesday. Hopefully. Can't promise anything. I've been so busy lately. I will try, though. Really hard, I promise. But, from Austin's Willing, again, Rob, Robbie Sterling and Come Scooter With Me, um, they all requested double whips. If you also requested double whips, uh, these are the ones that I saw. So, all right, let's get double whips. Okay, so to learn double whips, you have to have whips good. Either able to catch them flat, you have to be able to at least catch them flat. Um, if you if you're trying to do it off a ramp, you just ha you have to really concentrate. Lots of kids when they were learning um, double whips they tend to throw it out in front of them. Like they'll whip the first one and then like whip it out way out here and concentrate on whipping it. Don't concentrate on whipping the scooter as fast as you can. Concentrate on keeping it under you. Cause you're never gonna land it if it's out in front of you. So you gotta keep it underneath. Um, double whips, if you get single whips, it won't take you that long to learn doubles. You just have to concentrate on keeping it under you and just throw it like a whip. Make sure to use your hands and one thing that kids tend to learn when they're learning single whips and trying to learn double whips after that is they, they tend to like whip it like around like this. Like they'll go around with their hands. You want to make sure you're going like up and down. So like that. You want to make sure you're going up and down with your hands and not around. And it's really essential because there's also a lot of kids who will not even, um, when they're doing double whip or just single whips, they don't even use their hands. You gotta really get you good at using your wrists and arms for that you're whipping. Cause you're never gonna whip more than one if you don't get that. So you really gotta concentrate on getting those several whips in there. Um, but yeah, there's a couple ways to practice double whips. Um, the best way is, I'll show you a video right here. The best way to do it right now over this the best way to learn it is do like a hop. So um, you take your front, you take your back foot that'd be closest to your brake, put that on your scooter, and then you step over your scooter with your front foot, throw throw the scooter with your back foot, and then just like almost instantly hop off your front foot or try to do it as fast as possible. Jump up, spin it, and land on it, double whip. That's the best way to try to learn the motion. Keep it on your back. Um, and then after that. You can do it like two footed, so you like throw it, hop, and then double whip it. Try to get that really good, and then you just have to just keep trying it. Really, you gotta dial it, figure out how to keep it under you, because if you don't keep it under you, you're not gonna land it. So make sure it's under you, and then just commit. And they should come pretty easily if you can get your arms into it. Um, they do take work, but once you get them, they just become second nature, and they're just as easy as it. <coughs> Um, yeah, and then you can throw everything that you can throw a single whip on. You can pretty much throw a double whip. But getting them flat, you just have to keep concentrating, getting it faster and faster and off of smaller things, and eventually just be able to get it flat. And I'll show you that right here. Alright guys, thanks for joining me in this tutorial today. Um, I hope this helped you. And for the next tutorial, besides whip rewinds, because I will do whip rewinds next time, um, I just leave them down below in the comments. I will get to them. I'll try to get a, another video out shortly. I'm sorry. I'm recording this at like 9 o'clock at night. So, I mean, 
It's kind of the last minute when I had time after I got my homework done. Um, thank you guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more. Um, thank you guys for getting us to 1,000 subscribers. Like, that's way farther than I ever thought we'd ever get. So, it's all thanks to you. If you didn't subscribe, we would never be this far. And let's just keep going. Let's keep going with it. You guys are great. Go out and scooter and learn those double whips. And if you get double whips, try triples or quads. Yep. All right. See you guys in the next video. Bye.